Hello. We think, I think my wife's purchased a farm. So this is the entrance to the farm from the main road. You've got an orchard there. Um, the whole of the land is just over two hectares. There's an old bakery. Uh, I'll just just mention that this uh, this property, with all of its buildings, is in need of full renovation. So you're coming to the main entrance. You've got a cow shed on your left, and followed by a, an open barn on the left. And then on the right here, you've got a big cow shed. That's uh, with a, uh, two floors, obviously. That's that's perfect for a kind of uh, our our living quarters. And then next to it, you've got another uh, shed which they're using as a cellar, um, which is an old pigsty. And uh, as you walk into the main property. That, that barn in the distance is an open barn on the right hand side and then a, a closed garage on the left. This uh, is the garage to the main house, main living quarters, and then this is the house. And uh, let's go have a look around. Well, I think we've locked up around the house now. But then you've got a nice garden here. Um, as you'll see, everything needs refurbishment. I mean, this is the little garden, there's the little bakery I was talking about, uh, little side storage areas. This is your veggie pet patch, more fruit trees, another veggie patch. That's the rear of the garage, or, and then this. This is the main house that needs doing. I can walk in, they've left the door open, so I'll, it needs gutting. Um, old fireplace, which works apparently. Bearing in mind, everything needs to come out and be replaced. Old marble fireplace. Apparently still working. Oh, sorry about the glare. It's a beautiful day out there, but it's been mightily cold. So yeah, this um, this is not in our taste. Everything's falling apart, but the structure of the property is sound. And there's another side room, lower ceiling on this one, and then you walk through, and then you've got a kitchen, and then at the end you've got a toilet, and then a 70s bathroom, which is yeah. And then a quick, quick tour upstairs. This is one bedroom, so this is two bedroom house. Again, the roof needs to be taken off, lined. Some of the battens replaced, but this is a good size room. <laughs> and then you walk through to another bedroom. So, there's, so yeah. This is a south facing bedroom. Oh, and uh, there's an agreement at the moment where the um, a local farmer can put his cows on our land. So that's what we've got there. Like keep the vegetation down. So everything needs to be rewired. All the electrics, obviously. The water, we've got mains water. This is above the, the living room, so you've got an attic space, 
Uh, again, this needs to. This roof has to come off. Checked. But it's workable. We could change it into something. So yeah. Come back down again. So now we're around to the back of the garage. Okay, all the junk you see around here will be disposed of before we actually purchase the property. Hey, so here we go, you've got, that's the veggie patch. And then at the end here, you've got uh, the access gate for the rest of the land, which the cows are running at the moment. Um, we'll co probably keep that in place um, because it, it benefits us until we get ourselves sorted. Uh, cow shed. So this is the outside, the biggest outside barn. Obviously, needs re-roofing completely and structurally checked. Um, all this wood here, some of, the, some of the current owners are taking it away. Um, some, some of it, I think, is holding up that uh, existing structure at the back. So uh, I've mentioned to not move it if, it's <laughs> if it impacts the structure of the lean-to, which I've got in place here. The caravan, that'll go. All these windows, I'm not sure what's happening with all these windows and all the wood. Good grinding stone there, though. Oh, and a bench. Okay, so... Now, let's keep on moving. Then, we're still at the big barn, and then you've got this. Okay, the doors have caved in. But you've got... Potential in here. There's a garage. So now, oh, here we go. Here's the little pond, which still needs a bit of work. But it's a, a, a nice little area to relax. And all you can hear is birds. So the surface water drainage is a simple system, um, surface water goes into some drains in the, in the middle of the property, then you've got gullies here, I don't know whether you can see that on the camera, gully, there's a gully there, it goes right to the pond, so the, the pond is surface water fed and source fed. So now we've got, oh right, I wonder if he's kept the door open to the cellar. Oh, here we go, yeah. So this is the cellar, I'm not sure you would be able to see. Too many spiders in for my liking. But they're using this as a cellar. If you see me wobbling or whatever it is, it's because I've recently had a bout of giddiness, i.e. balance issues. I think I've got an ear infection or something. So this is the old, it's where they used to keep rabbits. Okay, the roof we know is asbestos. But it looks in good order, but that will still have to be removed. This could be a kitchen, kitchen add-on. Then you've got a potential larder in there. Solid base, solid walls, you can see right the side of the walls. This is another cow shed with the names of the cows. 
Oh, 16 sounds like more like a tyre to me. Again, you've got a door here that goes through to the main barn. You can't access it at the moment, but this, hopefully I can get through there to show you. All the barrels, I think, are staying. So good centrepieces. So now we're coming out to the back of the main barn. You can't see anything because of the sun. Sorry about that. So all the tyres are going to be removed. There's my darling wife surveying her land. Should be a half cooked shotgun in there, and she's carrying it at the moment. Uh, I'm doing the last bit. Okay. So this is the the other, the smaller of the open barns. Loads of wood in there. The roof again will need doing. Um, this is a couple of pig styes that I used to use as pig styes. Now it's just storage. Apparently under that block, under the load of bottles, there's a like a receptacle for cow shit. And then you go out the back of here, as it's, and then you're open to this. All you can hear is the tractor for the farmer behind us. This, and then you've got this lean to, which I don't know what we're going to do with at the moment. So, here's the second part of that pigsty. Going back to the big barn, I'm not going to take you upstairs to the big barn because it's a pain in the backside to get up there. But this is going to be our, I'm hoping, our house. Obviously, it needs more light. So, this would be the main downstairs room, open plan, hopefully. But who knows? And then you've got the entrance, big doors, entrance, and then you've got a door <coughs> side off, and that's, I believe, to the cellar. And then you've got this other doorway here, which is to, to where they held the other, other set of cows. This is an old milking machine. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. My wife's just very blasé about it. I'm just papping my pants on it. I can't take you in there, but this, this building here, the first one I've, I mentioned on the left is prime for to turn into a couple of cottages. I'm panicking. My wife is just blase and she's yes, let's just do it, let's buy it. Yes, you're only young once, but I'm not young anymore. Anyway, catch you later.